Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to rotate the picture, the image, within an image view of your Android app. So let's begin. We we'll create a new project and a new activity. Name this app as rotate image view. You can name this anything. Click finish. Wait for my environment to load. It may take a while. Perfect. My environment has uh, come up. Now, first and foremost, I'll also start the emulator in parallel on the right hand side. So let it come up. Now, I will also do one thing. Uh, I'll just import an image as an asset in this uh, environment. So what I'll do is I'll just go to this yeah file menu, new, and then image asset. And over here, I'll import a image uh, called Seaver Finger. So I have imported a, like downloaded an image which just shows one finger and yeah, I'll be using this image to rotate so let me click I can I think I can change the name to say for example finger and what else click next and I think that's all click finish so that yeah that asset will get included in my environment now what I'll do is in the layout okay so I just bring it down a bit here like this in the layout I'll include an image view now. So I don't think I need a text view. So I'll just delete this or remove this. And in the image view, I'll just include that finger here. So yeah, click OK. Perfect. So my thing it is visible now. And I can give the constraints here to this image view. So I'll be rotating this uh, probably both clockwise and anti-clockwise. I'll show you how to do that. And yeah, looks good to me. Okay, <clears throat> and no problem. I can put two buttons. So one will be like uh, rotate left wise, anti clockwise. I'm not sure. I mean, whatever you, you prefer, we can put that. So this could be rotate left. And the other button I'll put over here is to rotate right so I can probably zoom in a bit more so it's clearly visible what I'm doing yeah so over here this will be like this and rotate right perfect and now I will in the Java code I'll quickly create two methods public white button rotate left so this we will be associating with the two buttons in the layout what we have just now created so button rotate right I'm using the camel case over here for the, my coding practice yeah whatever you prefer you can do that Sorry, there was a short interruption, but nevertheless, we can continue. Yeah, so now I'll go to my layout and over there, I'll quickly associate in the on click attribute. So you can scroll a bit down and somewhere you should see this on click attribute. So this will be rotated right, and for this button, it will be, I think, rotate left. Perfect. And for the image view, I will need some ID to be given, which I think is already there. So I'll be using this ID to attached to this. So I'll create a class variable. Image view. Image view. Okay. And find view by id r dot id dot image view. Yeah. Now once we have that image and most likely the image will have this finger thing uh, associated so what I can do is there is a property in image view called set rotation yeah that's what we can do and we can rotate it by say for example 90 degrees and it's a floating so I'll change it to float uh, by type casting it to F uh, by F however this will just rotate once I want to keep it rotating right so what I can do is oh, first I will do one thing I'll take the current uh, rotation and then to that I'll add here so that's why it will rotate on the right hand side no this is for the left so this should be minus 
Now the plus over here is what I understand. Okay. And similarly, I'll take this line of code and put it in the other one uh, for the rotate right. And here it should be plus. That's the only difference. I think there it is. Yeah, so I'm running the code now. Let me see how it turns out. So this is just the one line code I wanted to show you. But sometimes these small things become tricky uh, if you are not aware of. Yeah, so it came up my image. So if I click here, perfect, it's rotating. I have intention to use the finger uh, here because it will be much more clearly visible. So yeah, I have zoomed in now. Perfect. So that's all I wanted to show you that how easy it is to rotate uh, the image. Uh, yeah, by just one, this one line of the code. But yeah, sometimes we do mistakes of not taking the current uh, image rotation to rotate it further. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.